Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Valentine's Day, Thursday the 14th of February. So, today I've chosen Microsoft. Now, I put this out in my swing trading membership, but also I wanted to highlight this in this daily video today because this uh, Microsoft on the daily time frame is looking for a breakout and we've got a signal from our black box breakout indicator. But let's just have a quick analysis on this in a moment. It's been very corrective recently since the highs <clears throat> back in October. We've been in this downward correction for quite a while. Uh, no real trend to speak about. We've got some big moves up against there. Uh, but this is why our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has labeled it all this ABC correction. So not really tradable at, this po at that point during that correction. Obviously, if we went down on smaller time frames, there were some good moves down on the C waves there. Uh, so good. But this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Thinkorswim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multicharts. Uh, so we have an Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, but also a black box breakout indicator suite. And that's what we're going to concentrate on right now, because we've got a short term resistance zone that we can push out of here. So we are out of this channel, this corrective channel that was moving down. We've gone range bound and we found three highs here, triple top. OK, now this could uh, move back down, but there seems to be some bullish momentum with this. We're looking to break out above this resistance level here. We had our indicator. See the red bubble here, 104.65 is the stop loss. We had 107.97 as the entry, which is above this zone. But I've been sensible and I want to go above the whole $108 mark. So 108.04 is my entry for this breakout. So although our black box breakout indicator has given this uh, as a signal and given me the entry point, I have to be sensible. Uh, you know, 107.97, 108.04 is a lot better. We're through that whole dollar mark there. Now, the next resistance zone, if you like, is the top end of this C pivot here, which um, and then this B pivot there as well. So we've got quite a lot going off in this zone. It's quite a wide zone, 112, 13 to, to 113, 57, something like that. But there's a lot of decisions that were made in this to, to pop back down again. So so this is a shorter term swing, really. I know it's on the daily time type frame. It could, we may have to swing it over into next week if it does trigger. But our target zone here is this previous resistance zone. Uh, so we've got a risk to reward of one into the middle of there, one to 1.5, something like that. So a decent risk to reward, sensible entry strategy here. We're using our black box breakout signals, the stop loss for it, and the entry is 108.04. It's stop loss 104.65 and 113, I would say, is your target. If it does push through there, then we're back in a bullish trend with Microsoft and we got in early. OK, so a slightly different setup today. I've combined my Elliott Wave Indicator Suite again to remind you uh, to confirm this real correction that we've been in since the highs, which is usual when you get those highs. The market doesn't know what to do. So we get in this corrective phase. Uh, which is mainly bearish um, until we find still the markets find value, see that value and want to have another go at those highs again. So this is where we are right now. Uh, I've combined this and I've sent this out on my swing trading membership video this morning. Uh, the details for this will be above the video today. So have a great trading day. Hopefully Microsoft will trigger and break through the 108 today uh, and I will speak to you all tomorrow.